international schools 13 years how's it feel oh unbelievable i mean it was a really really tough final we we know that leh we're really respectful of them they're good competitors i know the girls well nikki bud's a fantastic coach the fact that it was a draw after full time and we had to play the extra time in sudden death you know that shows how close it was but you know, I suppose it's luck on the day, some things just go your way and it was fantastic that we managed to just pull it out of the bag on that sudden death, so I'm absolutely thrilled. So a goalless draw though, Arthur? Yes, goalless draw, that shows how tough it was. I mean, you know, both teams defended well, we both had our chances and none of them came off and I suppose that's sport. Okay, would you credit the goalkeepers, do you think? Or? Oh, absolutely. I mean, well, certainly... You know, I know Mimi and I know Zoe, both the goalkeepers, and they are both fantastic. They both did really, really good saves. I mean, for us, personally, the Zoe did the interception to an order, to enable, because we hadn't got the ball from that draw. She did the interception, got the ball up, we got the ball up to the, the other end, and obviously then it's just a case of working it around and being patient and finishing it off. Okay. Um, so the girls, have they often played over time, is it? Um... No, I mean, it's not a, an experience we necessarily do. We've been on lacrosse tour to America, and it's quite standard that they play overtime. So I suppose that's the main experience we've ever had, it, or at county tournaments, so not really, no. Okay, and they handle the pressure well. Yeah, I mean, they're a very clinical team, they're a very focused team, amazing leaders, my three captains, uh, Nancy Day, Alice Cramwell, Chloe Brothers, excellent leaders, and they inspire the rest of the team and they, they control the team really well. So, to be honest, I was able to just sit back and let them get on with it. And your route to the final, how can you explain that over the last few days? Yeah, we uh, we, we did not win every single game. Um, in fact, we lost yesterday in our section, um, so we had a harder draw today. But actually, losing yesterday, it, it's like a blessing in disguise because it made us refocus, it made us look at our weaknesses, what we, what had gone wrong. And then even today we started and we played downhouse and we lost 2-4. Um, and again, we just stayed calm. What we knew was that, you know, we could afford that slip. But when the crunch games came and it was a knockout round, then we knew there was no, no room for error. Okay, a couple of your girls got MVPs. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, you know, it, I'm so glad that they've been identified and highlighted. But actually, I've always coached them as a team. They are a team. Um, we've always worked together as a group. So it's great that they got the, the, the recognition. But without the rest of my squad, they wouldn't, um, you know, that it, it's all down to a team effort. Even to the, say we had one girl who was here, who was injured, so she couldn't even be in the squad. She was just here to be my timekeeper. I mean, you know, massive team effort. Okay, and on to Rathbone National Schools and Cross Championships as an event. Can you tell us what it's been like? Uh, it's just fantastic. You know, it just seems much more professional, much more um, well organised. The, the venue here, Surrey Sports Park, is fantastic. The weather's been kind to us, but actually the pitch has been amazing quality. I, I think it's been so well organised, and we're so thrilled to have the sponsorship of Rathbones, who have that allows the, the um, tournament to be well organised because you know obviously there's support behind it. So it's been fantastic. Well, congratulations again. Thank you. Can I just say one more thing? So I did my level three coaching, and I had to do a coaching portfolio. Okay. I did yeah. it three years ago. Yeah. And my we had to set a goal, and my goal was that I would win national championships in 2014. Fabulous. And I'm absolutely delighted because I've had a three-year pro, well, four years, it's been a four-year program leading up to this. And I, it's like a dream come true. And I just, I sort of feel slightly grateful that I did my level three coaching because putting things on paper makes you think about where you're going. Yeah. And it was brilliant. Well, congratulations. Everyone should do their level three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs>